Episode 17, Captured, Deep Within the Heart of India. Well, Sahib, the evil thugs will never hold anyone prisoner in these caverns again. That's why we've blown them up, Kamamuri. I just wish we'd been successful in rescuing Shamina. So do I, but I'm sure it won't be long before we find her. Oh, my poor daughter, kidnapped huh? by Suyodama, oh. the cruel leader of the thugs. Don't worry, Tremalnik. We'll find her now that we know she's been taken huh? to Delhi. Of course, whether or not this thug can be trusted remains to be seen. Oh, it's the truth. I swear I told you everything I know. Please don't hurt me! With India in a state oh. of revolution, I fear that the road to Delhi could be very dangerous. Angus is right. Therefore, I propose only a few of us ought to continue. I, for one, volunteer to stay right here. No, Crackers. I think the only one who should not proceed is you, Surama. And I agree. It was very kind of you to guide us here, Surama. No need to take any more risks. May I not travel with you? Why, of course you may. What? You may come with us, Surama, if it's all right with you, Sandokai. This journey could turn out to be very dangerous. Oh, please, let me go with you. I'm not afraid to go to Delhi. What frightens me is to be away from you. You're a very brave woman, Surama. By all means, come with us. She can come, can't she? <sighs> well, all right, Yanis. I had a feeling that it would be impossible to separate you two. <laughs> all right, everyone, on to Delhi and victory. Meanwhile, in Delhi, at the palace of Abu Assam, leader of the rebellion against India's oppressors, a very interesting meeting is taking place. I'm very happy to see you and your thugs here in Delhi, Siyudama. I bid you welcome. At your service, Abu Assam, descendant of the Great Mogul. After all, you are by rights the true and sole owner of the crown of India. We are most grateful for your assistance in helping us rid our country of the oppressor, Suyodama. Your show of public-mindedness is quite admirable. You speak of noble concepts, Bidar, but these don't do much for me. You see, I prefer the clatter of coins to the babble of patriotic platitudes. I don't care about any of that. We must agree amongst ourselves. If Suyodama requires compensation in order to assist us, so be it. You will commit your thugs to the campaign, won't you? Certainly, Abu Assam. In fact, right now, my men are taking care of a few foreign troublemakers led by Sandukan. Sandokan? I don't know him, but I hear he's a good man. Please, Bedar, don't interrupt. We're not concerned with that. Siudama, we are very happy to have you with us. Well, you should be. We can discuss my reimbursement later. My niece is outside waiting for me. A thousand pardons, Abu Hassan, but that Siudama sets my teeth on edge. Oh, he's a treacherous dog of that, I'm sure. But we need his help and that of his men, if we are to be successful in our revolution. I agree with you, but I can't bring myself to trust him. Hmm. Huh? All right, men. Everything is under control. Take your positions now. Come on, you. Somehow, I have a bad feeling about this whole thing. Well, so far, there have been no signs of war or revolution, Tramal. Indeed, you're right, Sandokan. Everything seems peaceful. Huh? I think we spoke a bit too soon. Look over there. Huh? The poor village has been devastated. Oh. You're right, Sandokan. This is terrible. All right, everybody. Let's go and have a look. Well, Sandokan. We've searched everywhere, but Kamamuri and I have seen no sign of any inhabitants. That's right. There isn't a living soul to be found here. The village is abandoned. Perhaps it's just as well, because in times like these, strangers and foreigners are not always welcome. You're right, Yanez. I think we'd better put on our disguises before we travel any further. Oh, perilous everywhere. Don't worry, Tramal. I've survived many years of danger while fighting my old enemy, the so-called Raja of Sarawak. <laughs> right over there. No, how many times do I have to tell you? The knife goes on the other side of the plate. No. I'm very sorry, Your Highness. I'm very sorry. Everything has to be perfect. This is my celebration to commemorate San Lucan's destruction. I just wish I'd been there to see the look on those pirates' faces when my bomb exploded and they were all blown to smithereens. Now, what are you doing here, huh? Uh, sorry, Raja. It's just that one of your spies has returned. And? What news? He's afraid to say because of your reputation for killing messengers when they bring bad news. Nonsense! Well, that was the old me. Now, this is the new, kinder, gentler me. Speak up, my friend. Don't be afraid. Well, I was just passing Sandokan's headquarters on the island of Montpresor. 
You mean where his headquarters used to be before it was all blasted into thin air? Uh, that's just it, Your Highness. The island of Mont Presum and Sandokan's fortress are still standing. I also heard that Sandokan was still alive and that he was somewhere in India. What are oh, you saying? Uh, You're telling me Sandokan is not dead yet? This is the kind of news you dare bring me! Cancel the party! My day's been ruined! Guards, give this man a hot meal, a warm bath, and then throw him to the crocodiles! As you wish, oh vindictive one! How on earth could I have failed again? Will anyone ever be able to destroy Mo Prism? Lady Mariana, let me introduce you to the fellow who's earned this medal. There aren't many of us left here in Mon Prism to guard the fort, are there, San Big Leon? Well, it's true that most of our men are in India, helping Sandokan, but I wouldn't worry. You don't think anyone would take advantage of Sandokan's being away to attack Mon Prism? Oh, no, Lady Mariana, not at all. All right. <laughs> all right, Joel, all right, here it is. <laughs> For bravery in the face of peril, <laughs> And for outstanding... The Raja of Sarawak thinks we've been destroyed, but we shouldn't forget that he isn't the only enemy we must fear. I see hey, your point, hey, Lady Mariana. Hey. I'm sorry, Joel, for courage There are and... others who are also brutal and vicious. <clears throat> Lady Mariana, you're probably worried about Baron William. Well, I give you my personal guarantee we're as snug as a bug in a rug. You see, no one but us knows that Santa Can isn't here. Why, the Baron wouldn't dare attack. No, milady, we've absolutely nothing to fear. Well, Captain, I can't wait to see the island of Mon Prism destroyed. No doubt, Baron, and I'm relieved to hear that Sandokan won't be there to give battle. Captain, why, you don't mean to say that you think me incapable of defeating Sandokan in combat, do you? Oh, no, no, sir. Not at all, not at all. What I mean to say is, it'll be easier to destroy Mon Prism. Mm-hmm. Yes, well, it cost a pretty penny to have Suyodama kidnap Shamina. But it was indeed well worth it, wasn't it, Captain? Aye, Baron, with Sandokan off in India, trying to get the little girl back, Mom Prism is just right for the picking. <laughs> <laughs> and hmm? Lord James's niece, Lady Mariana, is the prize to be won. Hope your dagger's nice and sharp, Sarah. Let's see. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. We shall indeed have a very pointed surprise for those pirate vermin, <laughs> won't we? We're getting closer to the rebel lines. We should reach them any minute now. We'd better keep our eyes open, Tramalnik. Indeed, old friend. You know, Crackers, your disguise may not have the effect you're looking for. Ah, you're just jealous because I look like a sultan. Here, Jumbo. That's it, boy. Eat up, eat up, Jumbo. You look handsome in your new attire, Yanis. And you, Sarama, you always look perfectly ravishing, no matter what you're wearing. <laughs> well, if something's gonna happen, it better happen soon, because I'm getting restless, Kanamuri. I believe you won't have to wait much longer for your wish to come true, Sahib. Look! Oh, oh. Stop right there! Oh! Who are you? State your business. We mean no offense, Captain, but we'd prefer to speak to your commander, if that would be possible. Abu Hassan, this had better be important, or you'll pay dearly for wasting his time. Soldiers, take their weapons and bring them to our camp. We must confiscate your swords and guns, sir, but I trust you have no objection. Not at all, Captain. I understand. Everybody put down your weapons. Strangers given you any trouble? No, Captain. They've made no attempt to leave the tent. Good. Abedar will be here soon to interrogate them. They're a most curious group indeed, especially that bird who claims to be a sultan. We could be delayed here for days, Sando Khan. It might have been wiser to explain ourselves. I don't think so, Tramalnik. We can't be sure we can trust those rebels. Ah, oh, you guys shouldn't let me do the talking. Did you see their faces when I told them that I was a sultan of bamboozle? My car, they sure were impressed. I don't know. Impressed isn't exactly the word I'd use. Oh, no. Uh, Amused would be more befitting. Oh! Ha! Ha! Beta! My <laughs> old friend! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you are the strangers everyone is talking about. Well, we're only here to search for my daughter Shamina, who's been kidnapped. And I thought that... Shh, shh. It's better not to speak, Tramel. 
Outsiders are mistrusted in these troubled times. But we've not come here to do evil or to cause trouble. I know, but you must understand that the oppressors also came here to India from another country. You will be taken before Abu Assam in the morning. I advise you to simply say that you're here to help in the revolution. But Beda, my friend, surely you don't... I linger. It may look suspicious. Do as I say and tell no one that you're foreigners. Right now, I must bid you good night. I see you've captured a bunch of troublemakers. Where are they from? My friend, that is for Abu Assam to determine, not for us. These are thugs. Let's just hope that they don't recognize us. Our disguises should be good enough to conceal our real identity. Don't worry, your little heads. Just let me handle this. You'll see. Now it's enough to die, Hey, everyone, oh. bow down. I'm the Sultan of Bamboozle, supreme ruler of the Seven Seas. I wasn't aware that you and the thugs were friends, Captain. The thugs have finally seen the light and have decided to join the rebellion against our country's oppressors. They're now a very powerful ally. All right, now you may have a seat. My friends and I are most honored to be allowed this audience with the great Abu Assam. Ah, uh, you speak politely, and I see you are clad as native Indians. Now, what's your business here? Well, your Abu ship, it's like this. We came here to... Uh. Please, Your Highness, forgive our little friend. He's been out in the sun too long, and he's been talking gibberish all day. We can assure you, Abu Assam, but none of us here mean any harm to you or your cause. That's enough. Uh, there's a war going on. Those who are not with us are against us. Now, which side are you on? Well, if you'll allow me, Your Highness, I'd like to provide a brief explanation for our presence here that would hopefully clarify it's that... It's All right, now, what's the meaning of this interruption? Go on, speak up. They weren't sure at first, but now we recognize them. It's Sandal Khanik from Alnick. They're intruders here under false pretenses in disguise. Are you denying what's just been said? Well, it's true that I'm Sandokan, but let me just explain why we're here. No! Whatever it is you have to say, I don't want to hear it! Guards! I want you to arrest them all at once! But Abu Assam, there's a reason for our being here that has nothing to do with your revolution. You've come here posing as friends, but now it's clear your intentions are less than honorable. You've tried to deceive me. You'll pay for this. You are spies. <laughs> Seize them! <laughs> <laughs> We have no choice, men. Do as he says. Drop the swords. Unbelievable. How did they ever manage to escape from the Thunderbuns? I don't know. Tell Suyadama Sandokan and his men have been caught. Guards! I locked them up in the tower. I shall personally deal with them later. Suram, are you all right? Keep marching, spy. I don't care what they do to me, but if they ever did any harm to Surama, I couldn't bear it. I understand your concern, Yana. As if Lady Mariana were here, I'd feel the same way, but I'm sure glad to know she's safe on Monpreza. But Lady Mariana was far from safe. Baron William and his fleet of warships had launched a surprise attack on Monpreza. Come on, everybody! <laughs> Keep up the attack! We mustn't give up the ship! Uh, Keep those cannons firing! <clears throat> <clears throat> How are you doing, sailor? Have you managed to hit anything? Well, not exactly, my lady, but I've come close a few times. Fire! Yeah! Well, since the enemy has started to find their range, we'll have to modify our strategy. All right, everyone, forget about burning their ships and concentrate on blasting that gate open. Huh? Huh? Aye, aye, Baron William. Everyone fire at the count of three. One! They're storming the gate! Everyone get ready for hand to hand combat! Forward, everyone! Ah! 
He's giving you trouble, is he? Well, then, I'll take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> Mariana! You rotten scoundrel, you animal! Oh, well, why don't you just go away and leave us alone? <laughs> Lady Mariana, you've been hypnotized by these pirates. Now, oh, I suppose it's up to me now to break the spell. All right, now that I have your attention, I suggest you all drop your weapons or else I shoot Lady Mariana. You well, coward! Wasn't so hard, was if it? you were brave enough to fight man to man, you'd be singing a different tune, Baron. I don't bandy words with sea wolves. Sailor, escort Lady Mariana back to the ship and keep your eyes on her. You spineless coward! Go on, move! Well, now, as far as you're concerned, you're obviously the leader here. Ha! We've no room to take all of you pirates back to Laboan, but in your case, I'll make an exception. Take them away! You'll have a trial, then we'll hang you. Ha! I've done it at last. I've defeated the pirates of Mompresum and rescued Lady Mariana. Now she's mine! I can't wait to see the look on Lord James's face when he finds out! Meanwhile, back at Lord James's palace on the island of Labuan... Hmm. There, that appears to be clean enough. Now hand me that cloth. I'd be quite happy to polish this rifle for you, Lord James. Never! A man should always clean his own weapon. A rifle's a soldier's best friend. It's of critical importance that he should know it like the back of his hand. I've often heard Baron Williams say the same thing, sir. Ah, oh, yes, Baron William. Why, he should have rescued my niece by now. Should he fail to bring back Lady Marianne, I think I'll... What is it? Morning, sir. Um, beg your pardon, sir, but Captain Roberts reports that your messenger has reached Kimbaloo and the headquarters of the Rajah of Sarawak. Who? Oh, excellent. Once the Rajah gets my missive and learns how I took Sandakan into going to India, he's going to be very happy. Oh, yes, sir. He'll be very happy, that's for sure. Now, let's clean that rifle of yours, soldier. Um, well, I... Bring it here. Oh, I love the smell of gunpowder early in the morning. Mm. Hmm? Why, it's just filthy. There are many people who think the bow and arrow are no longer useful. Believe me, they are wrong. Yes, sire. In fact, they're very handy when one needs a silent weapon to say, for example, carry out an assassination. Right, Major? Absolutely. Everyone watch this. <laughs> of course, it's extremely important to keep one eye closed when aiming at the target. <laughs> Bravo, Raja. Secondly, one must keep the bow steady for a nice smooth release, like this. Oh, Good bravo, shot, Raja. Raja. Congratulations. Uh, well done. And the third oh, and most yes. important lesson bravo. to remember is this. Sire, sire. Huh? Sire, we've just received a message from Lord James here. Hmm. My dear Raja, it is now safe for your ships to sail to Mount Raisin since I've tricked Sandukan into going to India. Hmm. So it was Lord James who interfered with the plans I had for Sandukan. Ah, the meddling fool! And lesson oh. number three, never aim when you're angry. Now come along, we've got work to do. Mariana, won't you reconsider? We should marry. I don't want you. Now what have you done with Sam Biglion and the men of Monpresum? I left those riffraff where they were. Without a leader, they're helpless. Wow. <gasps> As for San Biglione, he's below deck, locked deep in the hole and chained to a wall. Just wait till Santa Can comes back. You'll be sorry. Now, I demand that you bring San Biglione above deck right now so I may treat his wound. And if I do so, Lady Mariana, will you then accept to marry me? If you bring him up, I will discuss it, Baron William, but I promise you nothing more. Santa, fetch the prisoner! Aye, aye, sir! Now, let's talk about us, shall we? Well, first of all, Baron, I feel I should warn you that my heart belongs to Santa Can. Oh, but Lady Mariana, there's no need for me to fear his rivalry, because chances are you two will never see each other again. And what makes you say that? Well, huh? for one, it's highly possible that Santa Can has already been killed. And should he still be alive, his days are numbered. Meanwhile, back in Delhi, locked up high in the palace tower, Santa Can, Tramalnik, and the others await their fate. Trap like rats! What are we gonna do? Why don't you just tell the guards you're the famous Sultan of Bamboo? Hey, there's an idea. The guards will be so impressed, they're bound to let you go. Will you take me with you? So what do you guys think? They give us a warning, we apologize, and they send us on our way. I'm afraid not. We're accused of being spies. That's a very serious crime. Oh, we risk being imprisoned for a very long time, Surama. Oh, yeah, unless they will surely separate us. Oh, this is Suryo Gamma's fault. Why, I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. If I ever get my claws, I'm no good. 
At last, you must be Tromelnik, and this must be the famous Sandokan. Let me introduce myself. I'm Siudama, leader of the thugs. Ah! <laughs> You beast! What have you done with my daughter, huh? See you, Dama. You know we're not spies. Return Shamina to her father and tell Abu Assam to release us. Release you? <laughs> but why? And spoil the fun. You're all to be executed. I had to convince Abu Assam to keep me on his side in the fight against the oppressors, so he has agreed to get rid of the whole lot of you. And as for your daughter Shamina, everyone thinks she's my niece. We leave tonight for one of my temples. She will make a lovely sacrifice to the goddess Kali. Listen, Yodama, why don't you and I make a deal, huh? Let's set up a duel. The winner takes all. What do you say? Mm, it's tempting, but we really must get going. In fact, I can't even stay for the execution. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Farewell, Sadokan. Oh! Did he really say we're all to be executed when in the morning? That's my guess. <laughs> no use. At least we'll go together, Surama. Dear me, poor Shamina. Oh, and poor all of us. Take heart, everyone. Come on, cheer up. We mustn't give up. Hope it's not over yet. There are many, many things that can happen between now and the moon. In our next episode, Sandokan and his men face new dangers, including imprisonment and the threat of execution. But Badar is hard at work devising an escape plan for the pirates. Will they get away? And if they do, can they find little Shamina in time? For the answer, tune into the next episode of Sandokan. <laughs>